morning, fam. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's my boom, boom, boom to the day. Boom, 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 boom. It's my boom, 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 boom to the day. Boom, boom. Come on, y'all. Come on. It's Monday. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's Monday. Come on. One day I'll write a song called It's Monday just to help us get up and get ready to attack this week for the kingdom of God. Come on, y'all, get up out your bed, pour your coffee, brush your teeth, floss them, use the cinnamon wax that was on sale at the dollar store, act like a thing is so, even though it ain't so, in order that it might be so, because God said so. We are praying for you that this will be a week of victory in Christ for you. Let me read us a passage and get our week started. Second Timothy. Uh, chapter 3, verses 2 through 5. I'm not going to read them all, but basically Paul says, in the last days, people are going to get jacked up. It's kind of what he says. Look at what he says. Verse 2, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness but denying his power, avoid such people. Now, that's a lot of stuff going on as culture continues to degrade and creation cries out for eternal salvation when Jesus comes. Again, this is what Paul is basically dramatizing for Timothy, the fact that as the last days continue, culture will continue to decline because all of creation, Romans 1, is crying out for rescue and for salvation. And while that's happening, Paul says people are just going to be crazy, okay? And so the point, I think, for the believer is this. Anybody crazy around you? And everybody said, amen. Some of us can't say amen because we the crazy one around others. And that's a whole nother set story for a whole nother time. But the whole point is this, as we continue to see people doing what people do, as we continue to see culture declining, churches losing orthodoxy and swerving away from the truth, as we continue to see all these things, don't be surprised, just be disappointed. Don't be surprised just be disappointed. It alarms me when I hear Christians say, I've never, i never heard of such things. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, things are just falling apart. There's a whole book written that told us this stuff was going to happen. And so the Christian is to always be disappointed, but never, ever surprised. Yeah, what is the hope for us in this? What is the response to these things that we're seeing happen in the hearts and minds of people all over the planet? Paul says, avoid such people. So the whole idea, I think, for Timothy is this. You already got to deal with them, but you ain't got to roll with them. You already got to deal with them, but you ain't got to roll with them. I think Paul for Timothy is setting a distinction, asking him the question, who are you rolling with? Because here's the lesson I want you to hear more than anything else this Monday as we start a new week. You become what you roll with. You become what you roll with. You see, when you're clean, and you got on a white suit. That's why I got on a white shirt today. When you're clean and got on a white suit, you don't get around a bunch of people who just got out of a hog pen. Because chances are, it's going to be hog pen on you as opposed to white on them. Are you smelling what I'm stepping in? If you're up a ladder, it doesn't matter if you're walking up the ladder. It's way easier to pull someone ahead of you down as opposed to it is to pull someone behind you up. And you got to watch who is in your circle because you become what you roll with. And this is a challenge to all of us young, middle-aged, like me, and old. Chances are that you're going to look like your circle, not your circle look like you. And so you got to make the decision now. Who in my circle is treacherous? Who in my, who, who in my circle is disobedient to their parents? Parents that have sense. Who in my circle is reckless and swollen with conceit? Paul says to Timothy, what I say to you, avoid such people. So you can be around people who are going to challenge you and correct you and love you where God has you going in your life. It's an examination day, and I pray that you'll pass that exam to make sure that your circle looks like your destination. And that's hope for today. I'll see you next time.